Hi lovely booktubers, I'm Debs. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Raina Read Stuff. I'm here in the book shack and I've got a load of videos to do. I'm just going to move you closer. Probably should have done this before. Stump. There you go. Right, I've got a load of tag videos to do because I am really behind. So I'm going to do them. I'm going to do them now, one after another, and schedule them through the week. So, this one is called My Favourite People. And the My Favourite People tag was um, started by Gareth at Book Songs and Other Magic. I was tagged twice, ages ago. Sorry, guys. So, uh, I was tagged by Alex at Alex Unabridged, and I was also tagged by The Mild Rumpus. And there are eight questions. So here we go. Number one, name your favourite author. I think I would have to say P.G. Woodhouse. Um, P.G. Woodhouse writes books that I can read whatever mood I'm in and they always fill me with joy. I love the Jeeves and Worcester series. Um, I'm currently reading Little Nuggets, um, things like Dr. Sally, uh, Meet Mr. Mulliner, Blandings. Blandings is great. Uh, the series was great as well. Um, the books never fail to bring me joy. I love the way he writes. I love his humour, and we share a birthday. Well, so, question number two. Name your favourite comedy actor or comedian. I've been thinking about this quite a lot. There is a comedian that I absolutely love, not for his stand-up, or for his acting, although he has acted. But I love him for his guest appearances on a game show called Would I Lie to You? And that is Bob Mortimer. The man is absolutely hilarious. And I don't know if any of you have ever seen Would I Lie to You? To you but it's a... It's a panel show with two teams and members of the team read out a statement and the other team have to guess whether or not they're lying. And Bob Mortimer is brilliant at it. He's just such a ridiculous man and he goes off on tangents and he's done the most ludicrous things. Like, for example, the statement, I do my own dentistry at home, which turned out to be true. And he does it, or balanced on his kitchen table on a gaming chair with a mirror and stuff he's ordered from the internet. The man's crazy, but he's very funny, and I do like him very much. I've lost my questions. They've disappeared into the ether. <coughs> Number three. Name your favourite dramatic um, serious actor, actress. I would have to say, I like a lot of actors and a lot of, of um, I watch, I watch more serious films than anything else, I think. But since I was a kid, I have really liked Jodie Foster. Um, and I think it probably started with Bugsy Malone and continued through, uh, Silence of the Lambs, Contact, uh, but the film I really like is called Nell. I don't think it's one of her most famous, but it's about um, a young woman who is found in the woods, living in isolation. Um, her mother has died. She had a twin and who has also died, but they developed their own twin language and so speaking to her 
when she has had no contact with the outside world and speaks a language that only she and her dead twin knew. Um, and Jodie Foster's brilliant in it. Really like that film. Um, right. Name your favourite political figure, past or present. There are a fair few throughout history, but modern times, um, the uh, former leader of New Zealand, Jacinda Ardern, seriously impressed me, um, particularly during COVID. She she laid down rules that protected New Zealanders mostly from the effects of a worldwide pandemic. And there's other things about her that I liked as well. She brought a human touch to politics and particularly to female politicians. She took maternity leave. Um, you can do so in any other job. Why shouldn't you do so in that role? She just came over not as a politician, but as a human being. And I think a lot of politicians lose that human touch somewhere along the way. And she didn't. So, yeah, I'll say Jacinda Ardern. Um, um, uh, number five, name your favourite film writer or director. I genuinely don't know. Um... I watch films, I pay very little attention to the behind the scenes stuff, um, no, maybe, oh I don't know, no, I don't know, I really don't know, name your favourite new discovery, well, how new are we talking, cause in June last year, I discovered BookTube, and I think it's fabulous. And in July, I started putting videos up on BookTube, and I still think it's fabulous. And I've made some friends, and there's a whole community that I interact with. And so, that's my favourite new discovery. It's not new, but it's new to me, ish. Name your favourite musician or singer. I like a lot of um, of music, a lot of different music. I was a teenager in the last couple of years of the 70s and the first half of the 80s. And that sort of steers my judgement a bit. I'm a big fan of ska music. Um, but I think I would probably have to say Debbie Harry from Blondie. Um, I loved Blondie. I absolutely loved Blondie through my, through my youth. And I can sing along quite happily now. Although it's not very pleasant. Name my biggest inspirational person. I'm going to have to say my dad. My dad always inspired me. And <coughs> my mum as well. Uh, my mum taught me to read. My dad taught me all sorts of things. He taught me that it didn't matter who you were. If you worked hard enough at something, you could do it. Um, he taught me values that I have held all my life. He taught me to strip down a car engine uh, and rebuild it. Can't do it now because it's all electronics and you know, I don't understand them. Oh, but give me an old-fashioned engine and I still can. Um, taught me to be interested. To be interested in people, to be interested in things. Um, and I don't mean material things, I mean ideas and concepts. We used to debate. My dad and I liked a good debate. My mother used to call it arguing, but we called it debating and we thoroughly enjoyed it. He taught me to love Star Trek. 
he taught me to love uh, Ealing comedies and the Hammer House of Horrors and science fiction. And he was just a good all-round guy. Yeah. I'm still inspired by him now. Even though he's been dead a number of years. This was a good tag. I like this tag. Sorry about the film director and writer, but I really don't know any. Oh, Peter Jackson. I don't know why I know him. But no, anyway. Next, tags from people. A lot of people I know have already done this tag, so all I'm going to say is if you fancy doing it, do it. I'll put all the questions down below. I will put all the links to the channels down below and let us know who your favourites are. Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe. That would be lovely. Leave a comment. I like to chat. And I'm sorry it took me so long to do this. I am catching up, honestly. Thanks for popping by. I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.